Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is t squared divided by 49. This is equal to 49 over t squared. So what are the values of t? So let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have t squared divided by 49. This is equal to 49 over t squared. So the first step is to cross multiply here, so that now we have t to the power of 2 times t to the power of 2. This is equal to 49 multiplied by 49. Now, this is t to the power of 2 times t to the power of 2. This is equal to 49. This is the same thing as 7 to the power of 2 multiplied by 7 to the power of 2. The next step is that t to the power of 2 times t to the power of 2, or 7 to the power of 2 and 7 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. So this implies that here we have t to the power of 2 plus 2. This is equal to 7 to the power of 2 plus 2. And therefore, we have t to the power of 4. This is equal to 7 to the power of 4. The next step is to take 7 to the power of 4 on the left-hand side, so that we have t to the power of 4 minus 7 to the power of 4. This is equal to 0. Now, we can express t to the power of 4 as t to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 7 to the power of 4, which is 7 to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now this equation here is in the form of a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2. This is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. This is equal to 0. Now, in our case here, we have t squared plus 7 squared multiplied by t squared subtract 7 squared. This is equal to 0. Now, we have got two parts here. We can call this case 1. In case 1, we have t to the power of 2 plus 7 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. And we have case 2, whereby we have t to the power of 2 minus 7 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. So let's start with case 1 from here. In case 1, we have t squared plus 7 squared. This is equal to 0. This is in the form of a squared plus b squared, which we can express as a plus bi multiplied by a minus bi. So from what we have here, this is t plus 7i multiplied by t subtract 7i. This is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. The first part is t plus 7i. This is equal to 0. And the second part is t minus 7i, this is equal to 0. So this implies that t1 is equal to minus 7i, and we have that t2 is equal to 7i. Now let's proceed to case 2 from here. In case 2, we have t squared minus 7 squared, this is equal to 0. This equation here is of the form a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So this implies that here we have t plus 7 multiplied by t minus 7. This is equal to 0. So we have got two parts here. We have t plus 7. This is equal to 0. And we have t minus 7, this is equal to 
0. So we have that T3 is equal to minus 7 and T4 is equal to 7. Now, this means we have four solutions. We have four solutions to this algebra problem. We have that T1 is equal to minus 7i. We have that T2 is equal to 7i. We have T3, this is equal to minus 7, and T4 is equal to 7. So the next step from here is to verify that these four solutions here satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that these four solutions here satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we entered T squared divided by 49. This is equal to 49 divided by t to the power of 2. So let's start with t1, which is minus 7i. So we have minus 7i squared divided by 49. This is equal to 49 divided by minus 7i raised to the power of 2. So this is the same thing as, we can express minus 7i to the power of 2 as minus 7 squared times i squared divided by 49. This is equal to 49 divided by minus 7 squared times i squared. We have that i squared, this is the same thing as minus 1. So let's substitute i squared with minus 1. So minus 7 squared, this is 49, multiplied by minus 1, divided by 49. This is equal to 49, divided by 49, times minus 1. So let's simplify here. If we simplify here, we have that minus 1 is equal to minus 1. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right third side and this implies that t1 satisfies the equation let's proceed to t2 we have that t2 this is equal to 7 i so we have 7 i raised to the power of 2 divided by 49 this is equal to 49 divided by 7 i to the power of 2 so this is 7 squared, which is 49, times i squared, divided by 49. This is equal to 49, divided by 49 times i squared. i squared, this is equal to minus 1. So this is 49 times minus 1, divided by 49, equal to 49, divided by 49, times minus 1. So let's simplify here, and this implies that minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that T2, which is 7i, satisfies the equation. So let's proceed to T3 from here. Now let's verify T3, which is minus 7. So we have that minus 7 to the power of 2 divided by 49. This is equal to 49 divided by minus 7 to the power of 2. So minus 7 to the power of 2, this is 49 divided by 49. This is equal to 49 divided by minus 7 to the power of 2, which is also 49. So if we simplify here, 49 and 49, this is 1. 49 and 41, this is 1. So we have that 1 is equal to 1. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. So let's check T4, which is equal to 7, if this also satisfies the equation. So we have 7 to the power of 2 divided by 49. This is equal to 49 divided by 7 to the power of 2. So 7 squared, this is 49. Over 49, this is equal to 49 over 
49. So if we simplify here, 49 and 49, this is 1. 49 and 49, this is 1. So again, the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that T4, which is 7, satisfies the equation. And this implies that the four set of solution here, T1, T2, T3, and T4, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe.